Growing turmoil in Israel, fiery protests erupting in the streets tonight. This comes just hours after embattled Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu dismissed his defense minister. That cabinet member said he would not support Netanyahu's attempts to take power from the judiciary. The battle over Netanyahu's plans is now intensifying. Here's ABC's Patrick Rieville. Israeli cities tonight erupting in protest after Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu sacked his defense minister today, the country's political turmoil rapidly deepening. <laughs> Netanyahu removing Yoav Gallant, a member of his own Likud party, after Gallant called for a pause in the government's controversial plan to weaken Israel's judiciary, essentially stripping its power to have final say on Israel's laws. The plan triggering weeks of massive protests, an estimated 300,000 citizens marching Saturday, many alleging the plan is a power grab that could make Israel an autocracy more like Turkey or Russia. We all have to fight for our rights because of the plans of Benjamin Netanyahu that want to turn this nation into a dictatorship. The unprecedented anger spreading to Israel's military with hundreds of reservists refusing to report for duty. But for now, Netanyahu pressing on, with a key parliamentary vote expected this week on a law that would give the current ruling coalition ultimate control over most judicial appointments. Israel critics warning headed for an unprecedented constitutional crisis. Benjamin Netanyahu's opponents accuse him of weakening Israel's judiciary to protect himself as he's on trial for serious corruption allegations. Netanyahu denies all charges, but those protesting say that this is escalating into an existential battle for Israel's democratic soul. Lindsay. A dramatic upheaval there. Patrick, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.